Good afternoon, everyone. Ooh, man. You guys can bring, bring it on in a little bit. Loud enough. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Osgood. I have the great honor of serving as Mayor Walsh's Chief of Streets. I am the pleasure of welcoming you all here for the ribbon cutting for Connect Historic Boston. It was uh, four years ago in July of 2015 that we stood on this block uh, to break ground on this project, a project that has since transformed streets in Charlestown, in the North End, uh, in Beacon Hill, and right here in downtown Boston, uh, really making investments in things like cycle tracks and uh, rebuilt sidewalks and reset cobblestones and new shared streets like the one we're standing on right now, all making our streets more inviting and making many of our great historic sites in our city that much more accessible. And I can look out in this audience and look uh, at the folks who are joining me up here, and I think we all know this has been an incredible team project from the start. Uh, neighborhood organizations, advocacy groups, historical groups, uh, federal partners, state partners, local partners across the board. This has been a great team effort. Championing this at the local level from the beginning has been our mayor, uh, Mayor Martin J. Walsh. It's my honor to introduce. He knew that this project would be a great way that we can connect Boston, Boston with its history and also Bostonians with each other. So it's my pleasure to welcome our mayor, Mayor Walsh. Thank you, Chris. I want to, I want to thank Chris, Chris Osgood um, for being here for the ribbon cutting and we broke grounds here. Michael Dennehy was here and I remember that day. Uh, he was he was working public works at the time. Um, I want to thank Superintendent Creasy from the National Park Service uh, for his great work and partnership. Uh, I want to thank the representatives from the Massachusetts Mass Dot. U.S. Department of, of Transportation as well. Um, Federal Highway Administration uh, gave us a grant for $15 million, $15.5 million, uh, and, and all the other folks that I'd love to be able to, to announce here today, and I just can't, there's too many of us, I think everyone in front of me and that aren't here today. So thank you everybody for, for really, for being part of this incredible project and process. The National Park Service, um, particularly, I want to thank them for their partnership and their vision. I also want to thank the nonprofits, the advocates, historic sites, utilities, residents, all the residents that are here. Thank you very much. I know that in some of this, when we put in the bike lanes in certain parts of different communities, people we have we have a split down the middle. Half the people love the bike lanes, and the other half people like the bike lanes. <laughs> I'll just keep it that way. And um, and um, and I want to thank everyone for, for moving forward. I want to thank the neighbors, especially in the the west end, the north end, and Beacon Hill, for your support. Uh, this truly was a, a true uh, group effort, and um, just thank you for what you've done. Four years ago, uh, we celebrated the groundbreaking right here at Blackstone Block. We talked about connecting historic Boston, and we were talking about uh, downtown tourism sector, to, taking it to a whole new other level, and taking actually the connections for the people that live in the city of Boston to a whole new other level. We imagine creating a whole new way of experiencing Boston for visitors and residents and commuters, uh, it's great to see that vision become a reality today, and it's actually been great to watch this vision come to reality over the last four years as this project's been, been worked on. Boston is home to some of the oldest streets in America. It's important we preserve the historic character of these streets. At the same time, we need to update our infrastructure into 21st century infrastructure, especially on our oldest roads. Connect Historic Boston modernizes the way we get around the city while also connecting our past to the present and the future. I'm going to wait one minute for this ambulance to go by. What we see here with this project is a two and a half mile cycle track connecting the Greenway to the North End waterfront all the way to North Station where the Boston Bruins will be playing Monday night in the first game of the Stanley Cup and Beacon Hill. We've added cycle tracks on Constitution Road we we'll expanded sidewalks along Blackstone Block. We we'll improved the Freedom Trail route. We've also made several safety improvements, including new lights, traffic signals, and accessible routes. We've added amenities like benches and signs and more trees. And just as important, but not as visible, we've upgraded the city's drainage system, an underground electrical and telecommunication system. All these improvements will help run our city more efficiently and more effectively. Connecting Historic, Connect Historic Boston demonstrates the power of smart infrastructure and investment. This week we're celebrating National Public Works Week. This project is an example of how great things can happen when we accomplish and we work together at all different levels of government. That's why last week myself and the governor went to Washington to advocate for more infrastructure funding. We saw that projects like this enhance the quality of life. They help connect our city 
and grow our in innovation and uh, connect the historic part of our city and also grow innovation. Again, I want to thank everyone who worked on this project. I also want to thank uh, State Representative Adam Igowitz, who's here with us, uh, who has been part of this project from long before I was the mayor of the city of Austin, uh, and who represents the part of the West End and, and the North End. I want to thank you, Representative, for being with us today. I also look forward to seeing more people walking and biking in this area, uh, especially as the summer's coming, but as, as we move into the future of our city. And we're excited to use this project of a model, how we can make these upgrades across all neighborhoods. And I just want to end with, I can't stress enough that when the state, the city, and the federal government come together on a project that's important for all of us, what we can do to move our, move, move our, move our infrastructure forward. I and mean, I'd like to try and maybe we can take this model to Washington and use it on so many other ways to continue to move our country forward. So thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you so much, Mayor. As, as the Mayor remarked, one of the uh, cornerstones of our capital program is really an investment in, in the great historic places in the city of Boston, whether that's the Fowler Clark Epstein Farm in Mattapan, the new uh, Liberty Tree Plaza over in Chinatown, uh, or the uh, ribbon of new streets that we're celebrating here today. And doing it by, as the mayor said, leveraging federal funds, investing city resources, and using new tools like the Community Preservation Act. Uh, and done when we really come together and doing it in a way that's actually piloting a new set of design standards, like cycle tracks, like better ways of handling stormwater that we're using as models and replicating across the entire city. And great projects like this don't happen without great partners. And we've had fantastic partners here uh, from uh, Ken Coelho and Jeff McEwen from uh, FHWA, uh, to all the folks who again are sort of in front of us here, to the group that invested in the original plan uh, for this, the National Park Service, and has really helped shape the vision throughout. Uh, so it's my great honor to be able to uh, welcome to the podium a great champion for parks in the city of Boston, uh, the superintendent of the National Park Service, uh, Michael, Michael Pusey. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, Mayor. I've been in so many events uh, celebrating ribbon cuttings at new parks and open spaces and looking at sustainability issues. Um, your leadership has been so critical, and this is just yet one more milestone. I, I also just want to give a shout out to Kay. Uh, Kay, this is a very complex project. And, um, it takes professionalism. It takes uh, a lot of ability to have things slide off your back and uh, working in various neighborhoods and communities in a respectful way. Kay, you've done an outstanding job and I thank you for that. The National Parks of Boston are made up of three national parks within our, our revolutionary city. The sites along the Freedom Trail from the Charlestown Navy are the first, the USS Constitution, our nation's ship of state, to the North End where we can witness the Old North Church and the Paul Revere House, to the heart of the city where Old South Meeting House and Old State House and Faneuil Hall gave this nation voice. The Black Heritage Trail, and Marina is here with us today from leading from the Shaw Memorial, which is under restoration right now on the Boston Common, up to the north slope of Beacon Hill, to the African Meeting House, where these places and actions built the foundations for American civil rights. And the Boston Harbor Islands, another revolutionary act that cleaned up one of the nation's most polluted harbors and turned it into a city, state, and national park for all to enjoy. And as we approach the 250th anniversary of the American Revolution, the pivotal ancestor is provided by the Connect Historic Boston Project. This truly revolutionized the way our residents and some 5.5 million annual visitors come to this town to experience these nationally significant sites and unveil the narrative of Boston and our nation. The design challenges with building bike and pedestrian pathways in an historic city are many, but it's historic character. It's historic character that makes our city a place that attracts visitors from all around the world and residents and businesses that are looking for a sense of place. Boston is an extraordinary city, and this project has enhanced the spirit that sings out from our heritage. From the beginning, this project recognized the importance of collaboration. It was a vision that had been advocated by the city, the National Park Service. The Freedom Trail and Black Heritage Trail sites, businesses, the state, and our federal partners at Federal Highways. They recognized that we needed creative solution, solutions to providing visitors and residents an opportunity to experience Boston with a fresh set of eyes 
and fun wa ways to see themselves around. The world. Oh, I can thank all of us involved in the collaboration. The Tiger Grant was certainly the impetus to getting us uh, moving forward. The mayor's leadership in providing another seven and a half million dollars, and the additional fi financial commitments from others, and in particular. Uh, all the businesses and the advocates in our community level that helped to support this over the years. A project this complex can only be accomplished with professional staff and sensitivity to community issues. And I want to thank the city and all that were involved with this project for taking that on in such a respectful way. As a result, the National Park Service would like to congratulate you, Mayor, and the city, as well as Federal Highways and the communities and all the sites along the Freedom Trail, the Black History Trail and other sites. And we congratulate you for revolutionizing the way that people can now experience historic Boston. Thank you very much. Thank you, Superintendent, for your remarks. Uh, before we cut the ribbon, I do want to give some special thanks to some of the members of the city team uh, who worked on this project from the very beginning. Uh, Vinit Gupta, who uh, helped write the original Tiger Grant. Along with Lori Pesa, who's in the back, and Annie Smith Ryman, who is not here today, but also uh, we were gave a lot of uh, a lot of the credit. Uh, the engineering work was done by Parajaya Singh, Zach Wasmuth, and Bill Egan, uh, who spent a lot of time on this. And uh, this could not have been done without the great coordination around the actual construction, with the support of Katie Cho, our chief engineer. All of you are here, and again, most especially Kay Byron Smith, our project manager. On this.